Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at my two meter everyday carry kit. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. All right, so you might be asking why put together a kit like this at all? Well, there's a couple of various reasons that I put mine together. First, and you'll see more of this as we get into the kit, it supports keeping devices charged up on a day-to-day -day basis. So if my cell phone is dead, if somebody else's cell phone is dead, I can uh, go ahead and get that device charged back up. In addition to that, I like to have this kit with me so that uh, maybe I'm going to jump into somebody else's vehicle and they're not a radio operator or they don't have a radio in that particular vehicle. Well, this kit allows me to uh, go ahead and get a two meter 440 rig installed in about five minutes. So let's go ahead and dive into the kit and see what's inside. So this kit pretty much lives in my Jeep on a regular basis. Now, uh, if you saw the Mobile Shack Tour, you'll know that the Yezu FT65R stays above my sun visor in the Jeep. Recently though, I picked up the FT3D and I've really enjoyed uh, playing with this radio so far. I am not leaving that in the Jeep on a full-time basis. Often I'm out with the doors off and the windows open and I just really hate to leave this radio up above the sun visor on a full-time basis when it could uh, easily be snatched. You know, should I lose this radio? Well, I'd be aggravated over it, but it wouldn't be quite as bad as losing the FT3D. So if I know I'm going out somewhere and I might need an HT, I do go ahead and carry this one with me, but it doesn't live in the Jeep on a regular basis. So this is pretty much my everyday carry kit. So let's go ahead and move the radio out of the way and start digging into the bag. Now the bag has two different compartments. It's got the main compartment on the back and it's got this front compartment. When we open up the front compartment, you'll see that I carry a variety of cables over here on this side. This is cables for just about any type of cell phone that might need to be charged. So I've got the micro USB, I've got uh, USB-C, and I've also got an Apple Lightning adapter here. So that way if uh, maybe one of my friends jumps in the car and their cell phone is running low, uh, I've got the appropriate cable that we might need to charge their phone. In addition to that, I just keep some AA batteries over here in this case. It's just nice to always have AA batteries on hand. Uh, the flashlights that I carry on a regular basis all take AA's, so this is just a convenient place to keep them. I also keep a spare battery for the FT65R. That way I have two on hand. The one that's on the radio that's always fully charged and an additional radio. The last thing in this compartment is just a hank of paracord. Always good to have paracord with us. Uh, we might use this for getting an antenna up a little bit higher in a tree or other various things that we might need. Let's go ahead now and move into the main compartment. Now you can see that this is pretty well packed uh, inside the main compartment. I'm gonna scoot the bag over out of the way and we'll just pull out items one at a time. So one of the main things that I always keep with me, and guys, I'll leave links to a lot of these items or at least items that are very similar to this down in the description below. But this is a 10,000 milliamp hour uh, battery bank. It has a couple of USB ports on the end. So this allows us to charge uh, cell phones should we be out and about and need a recharge. And let's face it, the cell phone is our primary communications device on a day-to-day -day basis. So just a good item to have with us to keep those cell phones topped off. In addition to that, uh, you'll see that uh, I do have a Raspberry Pi Zero in this kit. This battery bank is also used to power that Pi Zero. 
I also keep an old Android phone in here. The primary purpose of the phone is to run APRS Droid. So if I'm using the FT65R, uh, it does not have APRS built into it, but having APRS Droid on this phone allows me to turn that radio into an APRS radio. To go along with a phone, and this is uh, one of my new additions to this bag, but to go along with the phone, I keep two different devices in here. One is the MobiLink TNC2, and it's a great TNC that will interface with either the Raspberry Pi Zero or the cell phone I showed you just a minute ago. Now, the Raspberry Pi Zero gives me a little bit of extra function with this little portable kit. It allows me to have a full-blown Winlink station uh, using this kit. So I can connect the Pi to the TNC, which connects to the radio, and allows me to do two meter Winlink connections with this setup. And then I can use my cell phone to interact with the Raspberry Pi Zero so that I've got the screen, keyboard, and mouse as needed. To go along with the Pi Zero and the MobiLink TNC, I have two different cables. So I've got the FT3D cable here for the MobiLink and the cable that I need for the FT65R. Now I always like to run the longer quarter wave antennas on my radios. However, I do keep the original rubber duck antennas in the bag. Sometimes those quarter wave antennas are just a bit overkill and it's nice to be able to swap those out from time to time when I don't need the extended range of the quarter wave. In addition to those rubber duck antennas, I also like to keep a roll-up J-pole in here. Now the end on this particular J-pole is designed to go into the FT65, so if I do need to connect this antenna to the FT3D, then I've got a couple of adapters in here as well. I can also adapt the radios for uh, other different types of connectors. So I just keep a variety of connectors inside the bag in case they're needed. And finally, I keep this little mag mount antenna in here. Now, the cool thing about this mag mount is it allows me to take an antenna off of either one of the radios that I happen to have with me. Now, this uh, has an SMA mail connector on the end of it uh, as it comes out of the box. So that means a antenna from the Yezu FT65R or even a Baofeng style antenna will fit right on this mag mount. And this is really helpful if you're out, uh, let's say, and you jump in somebody else's car, to be able to get your antenna out of the car really improves your range. So this is a really cool item to uh, have in your bag. These are a bit hard to come by. I wasn't able to find these in the States. I'll do my best to find the link where you can order these. I believe this came out of France, if I remember right. Uh, so shipping is a bit pricey on it, but to me, it was worth having it. And then along with the adapters that I showed you earlier, I can convert this system here to also work with the newer FT3D radio. Uh, it has a different style of antenna on it, but uh, having these adapters in the bag does allow me to use the antenna off of that radio as well. All right, guys, well, there you have it. There's a look at my bag. I hope this gives you some ideas for your very own. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.